This is amazing. <gasps> Look at that. Oops. The thing I first noticed about this was the way that the lines, those kind of lightning sort of lines, which can't really be lightning because they come from a volcano. There's probably another word for them. <laughs> they are, they, it looks like they're the kind of thing that have been scratched through all the paint, scratched through the surface of the paint. So right. instead of it being scratched in, taking away colour, it is actually an adding on of colour. Oh, it's, it's added on, so it's a thicker layer where that white is, where I thought it was a thinner layer. I thought the, the stylus was scratching into it, but actually was adding on. And that's rather nice. It keep, what keeps coming out of this is this kind of re reversal of not digging in, but adding on, not, not removing, but taking away, not wet, but dry, all of these kind of contradictions. But what you have, you draw lines, but with out of dots, right? There is no continuous line. You never scrape through the skin. You draw, you nice, pierce dots pores. into it. I don't, know. I don't know how pores come into it. Thanks. And then shouting. We've got to stop leaving the door open for the cameraman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's really uncool. It's good. Uh, the next day I resumed work. It was not long before I was through. This time I was not in any doubt. The drill head went at least an inch deep through the hole. A great gush of blood followed my withdrawal of the drill. In the mirror, I could see the blood in the hole rising and falling with the pulsation of the brain. I hadn't really known what to expect, and it was rather exhilarating feeling, this gradual lightning. Would it last? This is a story of how I came to drill a hole in my head to get permanently high. To get permanently high? Why would you do it, though, the pressure on the brain? You can't feel, right? You, your brain doesn't have any feeling. I have no idea. Heads have a lot of blood in them, I'm told. <laughs> Steve, do you want to stand up? It looks a bit better, I think. We can... All right, I'll stand up. <laughs> Another kind of penetration. Stop penetrating the fourth wall, Stephen. All right. Perhaps this is a good moment to clear up the acid terminology. Freaking out is losing control of your mind on a temporary basis. Flipping out is more of a permanent problem. You can freak out on a trip and still be fine the next day. But when you flip out, you stay flipped. This demonstration will not work, Stephen, if the student tries to focus the dot with her right eye or use her left eye instead. Asking students to explain why this happens provides a good mental exercise for them. Well, I think the problem is because people think that things go into the eye when you see, but really the fact is that sight goes out of the eye in dotted lines. And that's how you know that you can't see round corners, which is why I can't see you, Stephen. I was listening to that. Well, I was talking about that and the way students often learn to draw the eye wrongly. Because they... And then they misunderstand how eyes work. And then the reason for this is that the bis you bisect an eye to, diagram to draw it in a diagram on the page but then students don't understand whether they're seeing the right eye or the left eye, or whether it's a dissection across that way or across that way. Amazing. I've lost you on many levels. Yeah, well, I think we have to talk very quietly at the top of a ladder. <laughs> Do you think if you speak at well, too quite loud dangerous. Volume, you fall you off the ladder? You might fall off the ladder. Is that something that you're... It's quite dangerous. Something that you're... It can be a risk. Because eyes should never, nothing should come out of eyes. No, but if you Things should go level, in. It just empties out and that's it, the vision's gone. So what comes out of an eye? I, you speak so technically about things, I dare not say. Jelly. Juice. Juice. Eye juice. Eye juice. Yeah, it's what it's called where I'm from. Did the fear of eyes come before King Lear or after for you? Um, probably when I was taught how to gouge them out. See, that shouldn't have happened. No, I know. There's many things that the sensitive child shouldn't be exposed to, such is the way. But no tattoos. It's not had an effect, though. <laughs> <laughs> Actively hate them. Why? I just think they're such a sign of... Uh, they are so... They are defined by their permanence and therefore their rarity. Yes. Like I'm willing to get a permanent flamingo eating a quiche on my right... my arm at the age of 15 and that makes me marginal. It was sailors, Maoris, criminals. Yeah. You know, it was something about like pure risk. I no longer care that I'm marked. I want you to know that I'm marked. Uh case. So where's the uh, screen? 
it's in the rare materials again, I think. Is that right? Thank you. We thought this was about Morse code, didn't we? Uh, I had no idea. <laughs> it turns out it's actually about just transmission. About Samuel Morse. Telegraphic transmission. Information carried in a letter. Right. Is carried with a person, with a van, with a postman. Yes. Information travel carrying carried by. This is the extent of my knowledge. This is all I've got. Carried by um, <laughs> telegram. <laughs> yeah, a telegram. Yeah. That's a telegraphic transmission. It's where the information is is transmitted without having to be kind of carried along by something physical along the way. I see. That's what I think it is. I think that's the difference. The Which is why I wondered why whether speaking or shouting was telegraphic or not. But look at this man sitting at his table on his own. <laughs> like, he is, so, he is so alone. And he's got these lines, presumably connecting him to other people, which is why probably my, what I said about tran telegraphic transmission is, is probably nonsense, because there are lines. I like the fact that you've drawn attention to him being by himself. He's so alone <laughs> and absorbed in his, his app. Absorption. <laughs> absorbed in his app. Loneliness. I don't think there's anything wrong with being on your own. Not with the hoovers now. <laughs> Eruptions also. The tube. Differ in. At least. The amount. The size. Of sulfur. 18 French. Gases released. Is chilled. To form. With ice. Stratospheric Or aerosols. slow. Therefore the. And the tip. Sulfur content. Lubricated the with a bland. Magma. Lubricating jelly. Efficiency. Mineral gas, oil. And the heights. Or the water. Reached by. Before it's inserted. The eruption. The patient should be sitting up. Columns are important. And have a container of cold water. Factors in. And a straw. The climatic effects. Or a few pieces of crushed ice. Or eruptions. To hold in his mouth. And then some academics' names, I don't know. The tube is inserted through one nostril. Historic eruptions. With care that it passes along the floor of the nasal cavity. Of VEI ranging from three to six. To the back of the throat. Have produced. Then the patient is instructed to swallow. Stratospheric aerosol. As he swallows, the tube should be thrust forward. Clouds up to a few tens of mount. The tongue. These eruptions. And the muscles. Including tambora. Of the throat. And krakatoa. Guide it into the esophagus. Have caused cooling of the Earth's global climate. <laughs> I did another sound. Beautiful. 